Hey, James Gunn, if you're going to write a script for a movie, make it about Chris Pratt getting whisked away to another galaxy where he meets a bunch of friendly aliens and fights a bunch of evil ones. You'd be great at that. You have 30 seconds to subscribe to my YouTube channel or I will find you and kill you. Okay, I'm gonna stop my Bane voice. Alright, it's TEB. I'm here to review the Belko experiment. Uh, it's like a um, thriller, horror, whatever you want to call this movie, which centers around like this company called Belco Enterprises. They have this building in Colombia. Then one day they're at work, and then all of a sudden here you have like thirty minutes to kill, excuse me, to kill two of your coworkers, or ah, oh, just kind of burpskies, sorry. Or we will kill four of you. And everyone's like, ah, it's just a total joke. And then, like, 30 minutes later, oh, four people's heads explode. So, like, oh, oh, no, this isn't a joke. And it's like, you have two hours to kill 30 of your co-workers, or we'll kill double that amount. And basically, it, this whole movie is centered around office workers being killing or being killed. That's basically the premise of your movie. Okay, let's be frank here. We were all very intrigued by this film's premise. Like, a premise like this where you have a bunch of co-workers stuck in a very confined environment forced to kill each other or they have to get killed themselves. Like, you could take that sort of plot in a lot of different directions. Like, you could make it... Of course, you could make a mindless gore fest. You could um, make an interesting social piece, like, addressing, like, human nature and it would feel like abandon their morals and just to benefit themselves, or would or you can make like a dark comedy or satire on like the Hunger Games or something like that. And yeah, I was very intrigued by this film's premise, but then I realized something. Wow, this premise is really just battle royale in an office building. Like yeah, it, and like I said, the gore fest, the satire, or the commentary. Like this film does try to do all of that to a certain extent. But, like, I feel like it focused too much on the gore and not enough on the other things. Like, yeah, there's a few rooms for laughs. Yeah, there's a few rooms for, like, where the characters, like, try to discuss what's really going on here. What's the hidden meaning to all this. But for the most part, yeah, this film is really just a brainless gore fest. Like, people, like, people's heads explode. People get shot in the face. People get axed in the face. And the characters, like... Again, like I said, Bow it's, the film is basically Bow Wow in an office building. Like, the only actor I, I recognized right off the bat was, um, forget his name, but he's the guy who plays Merle Dixon in The Walking Dead. Yeah, like, all the interesting characters die within the first 45 minutes. Movie, you, you know you're messing up there if you're not going to focus as much on character development. Look, I don't care what direction you take this movie is. You take this movie in, you really should like, help us flesh out the characters more and give us like something to root for. And you know, again, the interesting characters, they all get killed in way too fast. And yet the jerky characters rise above the nicer ones. And of course, they're the ones who do most of the killing. And yeah, there's really... This film, I hate to say this, it's really just your typical gore fest. Though it is very interesting to discuss like what this... What would happen if this actually happened in real life? You know, like, where you're in a building with your coworkers and the you're forced to kill each other and you can't leave. Like, I forgot bringing this up. Like, they bear down all the windows. Like, this company is trapping them in here. They can't leave. Like, there's metal, like, bomb, bomb plates that cover the entire place. So, like, they, they cannot escape. And again, there's so much they could have done with this film. But instead, like, yeah, again, they try making, they try making some jokes here and there and try making some, like, commentary bits here and there, but all in all, this film, they focused way too much on the gore, and it also didn't focus enough on the characters for me to, to really care a, a whole lot about what was going on all the time. So yeah, all in all, guys, the Belko experiment, I was very intrigued by its premise, and it definitely has some interesting moments, but, like, and they could have taken this in a, whole, in a whole lot of different ways, but they went down the mindless gore fest path and did have interesting characters. Oh, well, actually, no, it did have a few interesting characters, but again, they get killed very way too fast. So yeah, for that, I gotta give Belko Experiment a 5 out of 10 stars. It's a meh film, which is probably most overused rating I've given to movies this year, but hey, a review's a review, what can I say? Okay, so Belko Experiment, have you seen it? What did you think about it? I really want to hear what you guys think about this film, and leave it, leave this review a rating where you feel like it deserves. Subscribe for more if you have not already, and yeah, my name is TV9, I'll see you guys later. Have a nice night.